Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back. Let's talk about Robbie Lawler versus Tyron Woolley, the rematch. This fight is booked. It's good to go. In the first fight, of course, Tyron Woolley knocked out Robbie Lawler. Vicious knockout. Very impressive. I felt like Robbie Lawler had a great shot at beating Tyron Woolley in the first fight. It was kind of shocking the way Woolley took him out. I'm just going to get right into this breakdown for the rematch. All right, so let's start with Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler, to me, at this point, he's a legend of the game. He's been fighting forever. He is an ultra super vet. He's fought a who's who in his career, former champion multiple times, different organizations. I still feel like Robbie Lawler still has it. He's been kind of hit or miss lately, a slight slump. In his last fight, of course, he lost to Ben Askren in a very controversial ending. I personally do not think that Robbie Lawler was out. That wasn't a solid submission to me. I had made a video on this and you can clearly see Robbie Lawler's arm move and he does a thumbs up prior to the stoppage. The point that I was trying to make is that Robbie Lawler looked fantastic in the fight. He looked in amazing shape and he looked super dangerous. So it was really good to see Lawler back in top form. He looked like he had hunger. He had the fire in his eyes. He looked mad. He looked ready to go. That's the Robbie Lawler I love to see as a fan. Robbie has awesome defensive wrestling. He has that background with the Militich camp. Matt Hughes was in there. Jens Pulver. Tim Sylvia. Jeremy Horn. So yes, Robbie has pretty good wrestling and good grappling. He has absolute dynamite in his hands. He is a killer. He can knock your head clean off. I think pound for pound one of the hardest punchers in MMA ever. He has like this relaxed stand up, kind of lulls you in and then he just explodes on you. I love Robbie's style of fighting. I like his defense. He's very loose again. Super enjoyable fighter to watch. I felt like in the first fight with Tyron Woolley, he matched up very well with him with the defensive wrestling and the knockout power. Woolley as a fighter, um, kind of similar to Lawler. He's a better wrestler, but it's like similar in a sense of um, a grappler or wrestler that could punch really hard. Robbie's stand-up is more complex than that, but I'm just pointing out some of the similarities between them. Woolley has like a right hand from hell. I wouldn't say that his stand-up is very diverse, but he has so much damn power. Typically, you can't take him down unless your name is Kamara Usman. He can take you down when he wants to and land some vicious ground and pound, which makes him super dangerous. Hence why he was a UFC champion. Stylistically with Lawler, it's almost guaranteed that somebody gets knocked out. Both of these guys have an abundance of KO power. They'll throw big shots. Robbie's a finisher. Wooly as of late has tried to be more of a finisher, I think from all the criticism from the fans. So yeah, in this rematch, it's very possible that somebody gets stopped. I kind of feel the same way as I do with this fight as I do with the first one. I still think that Robbie Lawler is a tough matchup for Tyron Woolley, like at least stylistically and on paper. In simple terms, he's a defensive wrestler, defensive grappler, and he has better, more polished stand up and he can knock you out. That's pretty much the perfect anti Woodley. But it didn't work out for Robbie in the first fight because it's MMA, anything can happen. I'm not discrediting Woodley one bit. He got the job done. I don't think that Robbie was expecting that explosion from Woodley. Caught him off guard and it just put his lights out. But in this fight, after fighting Tyron Woodley once, he knows what to expect. He knows just how dangerous Woodley is. So I don't see Lawler making the same mistake in this rematch. The fight could very well go the same way. Woodley could starch Lawler in the rematch again. He's dangerous. He's a former champion. He has mega KO power, but I'm actually picking Robbie Lawler to win this rematch. I do think he's going to make the adjustments. Woodley in his last fight against Usman seems like he just didn't show up. Like something was off mentally. Maybe Usman is just that good that he made Woodley seem that way. But if Woodley is indeed a little off and that carries over into this Lawler fight, he's going to be in big trouble. And I am picking Robbie Lawler to win this fight. I think Robbie Lawler is also capable of finishing Woodley. Absolutely. I feel like if Lawler executes really good defensive wrestling, takes his time with Woodley, anticipates the explosions and bursts from Woodley, he could definitely beat him on the feet. Robbie Lawler should have the advantage in the striking department. He's slicker, he's more fluid, he has more weapons in his arsenal standing, he just has to take his time. 
if he gets into wild brawling exchanges with Woolly, tries to out firepower him, that may be the problem. And not to say that Lawler doesn't have the firepower to match Woolly, but it just wouldn't be fighting smart when you're better standing and slicker. But I guess we'll see what happens. This video might spark some heated discussions, which is cool. How could I pick Lawler to beat Wooly when Wooly beat him in the first fight? But just because you stop somebody once, it doesn't guarantee that you'll win the rematch. We've seen fighters come back time and time again after making the adjustments and get that W back. But I guess we'll find out when they fight. Please feel free to drop those predictions in the comment section. Who do you think is going to win and why? We'll love to read them. We'll love to have a cool discussion about it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Thanks for the support, the shares, the subs, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.